San Francisco, the city by the bay, is a spectacular blend of iconic landmarks, rolling hills, and vibrant neighborhoods. It's a far smaller city than New York or Los Angeles, but what it lacks in size, it more than makes up for in charm and character. San Francisco is a city where history and tradition jostle with innovation and cutting-edge technology. Founded in 1776, it witnessed the California Gold Rush and expanded rapidly as a result, endured the devastating earthquake and fire of 1906, and was the birthplace of hippie counterculture in the 1960s. The city has been a haven for free thinkers, artists, and intellectuals ever since. In recent years, it has also become a leading tourist destination and one of the most important global hubs for software development. The tech giants Google, Apple, and Facebook have their headquarters just a short drive away, so an entrepreneurial spirit is almost palpable in the air, and there's a thriving startup culture. Downtown San Francisco is surprisingly compact, so you can generally get around easily on foot. However, even if you love walking, no tour of the city would be complete without taking a ride on the legendary San Francisco cable cars. They're even listed on the National Register of Historic Places. A ride on the cable car is the perfect way to admire the city's eclectic architectural styles, which range from Victorian-era houses to modern skyscrapers. While some commuters do still make use of the cable car system, today the vast majority of passengers who use it are tourists. A short distance from downtown lies Fisherman's Wharf, a much-loved waterfront district renowned for its seafood, street performers, and lively atmosphere. Tourists and locals alike come here to enjoy fresh clam chowder served in sourdough bread bowls while taking in the views of the bay and the sea lions soaking in the sun on the docks. Out in the bay, you'll catch sight of another of the city's most popular attractions, Alcatraz Island, the site of a former maximum security prison that once housed the most notorious inmates in the country. The prison was closed in 1963 and reopened to the public as a museum about a decade later. The northern tip of the San Francisco Peninsula is another magnet for tourists. Why? It's where you'll find what one travel guide has described as possibly the most beautiful, certainly the most photographed, bridge in the world. The Golden Gate Bridge stretches majestically across the entrance to the bay. No less a work of art than an engineering marvel, it is to San Francisco what the Statue of Liberty is to New York. I've only scratched the surface of what there is to see and do in San Francisco. From Chinatown to the Mission District and the famously crooked Lombard Street with its eight hairpin bends, the city is brimming with unique and unforgettable sights. Countless artistic and cultural events take place throughout the year, and there are all sorts of culinary delights to discover and savor, too. Everyone should visit San Francisco at least once in their lives. And if you can, why not make your visit part of a longer road trip exploring the breathtaking Pacific coastline? <laughs>